One Atlanta district is now going remote until the new year as an entire Mississippi high school, 600 students, goes into quarantine. Man, and we all need to be quarantined until the vaccine gets here. Children in school are super spreaders. People at grocery stores are super spreaders. People who don't wear masks are super spreaders. People who play violin instead of bass guitar are ah. super spreaders. Hey, bro, you... Bruh. Oh my god. Here we go again. This is a blank board because everything I'm going to tell you is in my head. Super spreaders do not exist because everything you think you know about a virus is a lie that's based off a theory that germs cause disease, but they don't. They just go through pleomorphic changes based on the overall internal toxicity level within the body, then excrete solvents to break down the toxicity and inflammation, and then we characterize that as infection, disease, and yes, virus. Any questions? So basically you saying contagion is a myth. Well, how do you explain the flu or measles? It's nothing more than expressions caused by a toxic terrain due to poisons in your diet, lifestyle, or environment. The flu. Temperature drops during seasonal changes can trigger your body's natural detoxification process if you have a buildup of toxins in your body. But the symptoms like cough, fever, running nose are not contagious. And neither is measles where it's more psychosomatic and children expel toxins through their skin seemingly all at the same time, but it's not infectious, nor is it caused by a virus. So if all that's true, then why was the Spanish flu so contagious? I'll leave a link in the description where they tried to determine the mode of spread of influenza which was published by a doctor named Milton J. Rosenau where they tried to infect healthy people with microbial mixtures from the throat and nose of infected people but failed to do so. Who put this cup And here? this is because the germ is nothing. Your body is the terrain. And the terrain is everything. Wow. This was intense. I'm just gonna go ahead and take more vaccines. So my terrain stays disease free because I know for a fact that Big Pharma would not be around for this long if they were intentionally poisoning people like you suggest that they are. And I really don't want to take responsibility for my own health, so I'll just promote germ theory because it's the easy thing to do. And everyone can live an unhealthy lifestyle and blame any ailments that come down their dwelling on a virus instead of really getting to the root of the problem and making a change in their daily lives. Thank you. This is a love production.